really tough to tell what you're going to see from one battle to the next because there's no choreography involved. This is completely freeform. We're going to try to get to a position where we can fire our broadside guns, the big guns down in the waist, uh, lengthwise down the other vessel. Now, uh, the further cannonball travels inside the other boat, the more damage it's going to do. That's pretty much how these battles were fought. Now, there was a timeline that they lined the boats up right next to each other and just blasted away like you see in the movies. And that was about the same timeline that everybody wore uh, very brightly colored uniforms in the army and they lined up in nice straight lines to kill each other nicely. <laughs> Um, eventually somebody in the army figured out their life expectancy went way up if they duck. And uh, on the Navy side uh, we, we had a realization like that too, which is if you can get your broadside guns, the big guns, to bear lengthwise down the other vessel, you have a smaller target, but if you can move into point blank range, you can do significantly more damage and you can maximize your firepower while minimizing your opponents. The stern shot is by far and away the most preferred. The stern is the least reinforced part of the vessel. Uh, the officers are back there, but most importantly, the rudder is back there. A lot of our fighting will be inside of, say, four to five boat lengths, and uh, the, the vessels uh, are very maneuverable, and uh, the crews are very good, and so uh, it's pretty common to bring them inside of a boat length of each other as we're firing, so uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, the part of the game is just that, that tactics is maneuvering your vessel while the opponent isn't expecting it. And so you'll see a lot of sudden maneuvers and uh, uh, just trying to catch the other guy off guard. And we've now been fighting the boats long enough and we've had uh, all these boats together for a while that we're starting to get to know what the other vessel is capable of and it's becoming a little bit of a chess game. It's more of a uh, trying to uh, get inside the, uh, the brain of the other captain. If you're on the boat, what you'll be seeing is uh, just a lot of line hauling uh, on, on whatever boat you're on. Now the uh, uh, they'll be maneuvering, uh, they'll be uh, just working the vessels to the best of their ability and uh, we'll just be going out and playing and see what we can end up with for the day. It was very close to the best thing I've ever done. It was awesome. The, the battle was the best part. Uh, the captain was awesome. They, had, they have a really good crew and they seem to love, love, love what they do. Those guys are having a great time. So we had a great time. Oh, I just thought it was wonderful. It felt like you were really in a... Uh, in the, in the Napoleonic Wars and, and uh, taking aim at some enemy ship and just really cool stuff.